Hello friends, this is Dr. Antoine, your coach in data analysis using R2. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can test panel data stationarity using augmented Dikifura test. I'm going to use data collected on sub-Saharan African countries, data included 32 sub-Saharan African countries, and uh, the period covered is 2009 till 2021, which means 13 years. Data are related to inflation, unemployment, and gross domestic product growth for 32 sub-Saharan Africa countries. Now, I'm going to, to see whether these data or these variables are stationary or not because the stationarity of data may have consequence on the way you are going to make analysis of your data. For instance, when you found that your data are stationary, you can use a linear regression when you want to, uh, uh, to analyze the impact of inflation and unemployment on gross, gross domestic product growth in sub-Sahara. That's why you have to test the stationarity of your panel data. Now, I'm going just to import my data set and I'm going to use the augmented Dick Fuller test to test the stationarity in the data set. And I'm going to show you also how you can create a panel data in our environment. And first, let's go. This comment you see here allows me to get uh, numbers in full format, not in scientific format. And this one, this comment, sorry. Uh, Yeah, this comment you see here, friends, indicates where I have stored my data set. Let's turn this comment. The next comment you see here, friends, this one allows me to import my data in my working environment. Let's run this test. So let's run this comment to import my data. Let's run this comment. Now I can show you how my data look like by viewing first uh, observations now you can see here my observations you see for instance the first country is burundi this is the year 2009 2010 2011 12 and so on this is paybe which is the gross domestic product paybe is in french which means probably in this is inflation, this is chômage in French, but this is unemployment, this is the rate of unemployment. And I can also show you how the, the full data set look like using this comment view. Let's run this comment and you will see how the data set looks like. Because this data set include 416 observations, which means 22 countries multiplied by 13 period which give us 416 observations now you can see here friends how our data set looks like for instance burundi you see the first country is burundi and when you see you see burundi this is the year 2009 and this is the gross domestic product growth for 2009 this is the inflation rate for 2009 this is unemployment for 2009 and this is for the same country the same observation this is burundi again this is the year 2010 this is the gross domestic product for 2010 the inflation for 2010 uh, unemployment or chômage in 2010 and so on and so on but when you see here friends the total number of observation is 416 and the last country is Zimbabwe. Now, as you have an idea on our data set, let's show you how you can create panel data in our working environment or RCDU in RCDU. But remember friends, before performing this test, you have to have this library panel in your model plm you have if you don't have those libraries you need to install those, those libraries when you want to install packages you can learn here tools tools and then you 
install packages when you execute and install packages you will get a space where you can write any library you want to install let's show you how you can install library if you found that you do not have such library when you are you want to perform any such code test now you see here you click on tools now you see um just uh, waiting for a while until i get space where i can write the name of library now friends as i said when you do not have a package or a library you need to to type the name of your library here for instance i can type plm 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 and then i click here install but i do not need to install because i already install i have already installed this package you can write any name of package you want to install and then you click on the install now let's learn these packages to call them in working environment and the first thing i'm going to show you is how to you can create your panel data in the format that can be recognized by these libraries when you want to perform any panel data analysis now as you can see here friends this is the name i give to my new data set i created as panel data this is the command p data dot frame this is the name where i saved my data set i imported this one this one and as you can see i want to create a new column which will index the country and year i will have another column which at each country will be associated with the year let's run this command and then you will see the results now let's show you how our data panel data created looks like let do head now as you see here friends you see each country here is associated with the year observation year Benin, for instance you see here Benin 2009 you see Benin 2010 you see Benin 2011 you see Benin 2012 Benin 2013 14 and so on but you you see our columns remain you see country year gross product gross domestic product this one gross product gross domestic product or pay pay this is inflation and this is chômage or unemployment now as i have created my panel data i'm going to apply dicky fuller unit loot test to check whether our variables are stationary or not remember before performing any statistical test you have to know your own new hypothesis because it is based on the new hypothesis that you are going to decide whether you, you accept or you reject the new hypothesis another thing which is important when you are performing any statistical analysis is the significance level generally in statistics five percent is used as a cutoff of rejecting or accepting the new hypothesis. Let's consider that the significance level is 5%. That means when the p value is greater than 5% or significance level, the new hypothesis will not be rejected. However, when the p value is less than 5%, because it's our significance level, the null hypothesis is rejected now for our case in unit load or stationarity testing the, the null hypothesis is that there is there is a unit load in our variable or our variable is not stationary when the p-value is greater than five percent we do not reject, reject the null hypothesis but when the p-value is less than five percent we do reject the null hypothesis now let's begin with testing whether 
PIB or gross domestic product is stationary or not. Now here, this is the comment. You have this comment is given by library time series, this library, this one. And this comment of creating panel data is given by this library. Now let's learn and you will see the if here in this command you see the lag we indicated the number number of lag this one we indicate number of lag we here we specify that we have to use two lags but if you do not know the lags you, you will use you can just learn the command this command and lag will be found automatically now as you can see here in this command when i use two lags you see the p value is less than five percent and in this case we rejected the new hypothesis saying that there is no unit loot there is a unit loot in our variable that means our gross domestic product or our PIB, which means PIB in this in this case or gross domestic product growth is stationary now let's run this test without indicating maximum lag and you will see how to work later on this command as you can see here friends now the maximum lag used to make this test is seven you see here seven here let's include the size you see here the lag the maximum lag augmented full lag test the augmented uh, you see the lag order is seven let's do the same for other variables like impression let run i i, I indicated five two lags here but i will also do without indicating any lag you see here the p value is less than five percent now conclude that the new hypothesis of existence of unit load is rejected and we say that inflation is stationary let run the same command with that without indicating any lag and you see how the test we choose optimal lag now you see here we have uh, the test uh, the test use the seven lag order let's do the same for inflation by indicating two lags as you can see here friend the p-value is less than five percent and we conclude that inflation is stationary because it is the uh, alternative hypothesis let's do the same without indicating the number of lag you see here the maximum lag was seven and the p-value is less than five percent however if you have followed my previous video where i showed three methods that can be used to test stationarity in panel data i found that chômage or unemployment was not a stationary when using this test because i have used this test in the previous video this one this test they concluded that chômage or unemployment was not was not stationary or has unit root let's learn those the, the or the, the those tests and they will see let's learn for instance this sorry this one for the same look let's run this test you will see let's run this one this is for PIB okay this is oh, sorry let's run I have performed this analysis in the previous video as you can see here friends we look on a P value that is okay notice uh, it is stationary let's run on inflation you will see you see we see stationary let's learn that means you have to look at the previous video let's learn for uh for chômage this one this one while Dicky full documented the test conclude that so much is stationary as you can see here friends this test this one indicates that this test indicates that so
Mod is not stationary as the p-value is greater than 5%. Let's do the same for we using the remaining test. Let's run this for instance Madala. This one for payable or automatic product. You see the p-value is less than 5% with the normal hypothesis. Let's do the same for inflation. We look on p-value. This is, you see here, friends, this is Madala Wu unit load test. For inflation, you see the paper is less than 5%. Let's do the same for inflation, uh, chômage. In this case, for chômage or unemployment. And you see here, friends, this test indicate that the paper is greater than 5% and we do not reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the Chômage or unemployment is not stationary. Why augmented dick fully concluded that unemployment is stationary? Let's use also Pesaran machine unit loop test. You see here, friends. Let's run this test. You can look on the previous video. I have explained the all those tests. You see, people is less than five percent. Look on this one for inflation. The problem only is on chômage on or unemployment because here this test concluded that chômage or these three tests conclude that chômage is or unemployment is not stationary why augmented dikifura unit root test conclude that chômage or unemployment is stationary that's why you have to indicate correctly the test you used and you make you have to make a better test when you are performing some statistical analysis because you see there is contradiction or on conclusion on infrastructure on unemployment or chômage while all these three tests indicated that chômage is not stationary augmented dick for test indicated that chômage is stationary okay friends this is how you can perform panel data stationary analysis using our tool and I hope this video will help you to improve the way you will make analysis of panel data. If you like this video, you can share it. And I invite you to subscribe to my channel so as to support me and so as not to meet the next video on serial correction analysis in our studio. Thank you very much for watching this video. For next video, bye.